Hello everyone, this is Paul back with another VX Integrity video. In this video, we'll take a look at analyzing the corrosion on an elbow pipe using the freeform analysis of the surface damage suite. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do here is to reduce the critical factor and the threshold values, and this will help us pick up some of the more shallow features or corrosion pits. I'll leave the color map as is. Notice it already sets itself to the threshold and critical factor values, so this is good for what I want to achieve. In this step here, I'm going to go ahead and add a rejection criterion, and I'll set the deepest point to be one millimeter. So any feature that's deeper than one millimeter is going to be flagged with a red X in the analysis later on. I won't go ahead and add a reference. However, in the next step here, uh, I'll be sure to exclude all the areas that I don't want to analyze. So anything beyond this well here, this well here as well, I will go ahead and exclude that. Notice I'm selecting through, so it selects all the way through. And I also want to exclude this seam well here. Um, here I won't select through just to make sure it doesn't select on the other side. So everything that I don't want to analyze should be now painted purple. Let's skip ahead a couple steps. And in the analysis preview step, we can actually toggle the reconstructed mesh. And this will help us visualize the reference surface to which our corrosion pits, the depth of them, uh, will be measured. Okay, so this gives us an idea of what the software is using to estimate the depths of the pits. Let's finally go to the analysis step. And in this case here, we can see that a total of eight features have been detected. Um, according to our criteria, they are all failing because they are all beyond that one millimeter threshold. Notice some of the areas are combined as a larger area because they're closer together and others such as this one are kept separate. Okay. We can also go ahead if we want to and add a few depth annotations for the report. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop us a like and consider subscribing to our Creaform channel. This was Paul, and I'll see you in the next video.